Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of ProactiveComputerSupport.com and I realized something today that most people that know me probably already know. I am happiest when I'm teaching. I'm a dual certified teacher from Illinois, a certified substitute teacher here. I do a lot of in-home tutoring, especially special needs, since I'm ADHD myself and have a behavior management background. But even when I'm repairing a computer, if my computer client is there, half the time I'm explaining what I'm doing because I'm just enjoying teaching just that much. So today, I gave a lesson to a senior citizen who reminded me that not everybody knows the basics. So I'm going to give you a very basic senior citizen, <laughs> very basic senior citizen lesson. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to give you a very basic computer lesson. Uh, this, there'll be a lot of senior citizens interested in this, but there's other people besides senior citizens that have not messed around with a computer very much. So this is not just for senior citizens. So a couple things that I would like to make clear. Don't put in the comments and, and don't tell a senior citizen everybody knows that because they don't. And it's demeaning to the senior citizen, especially if you're trying to teach them something. It makes them feel bad. And it makes them feel like uh, they're behind in the times. So let's be respectful to our kapunas, our uh, senior citizens. And let's make them feel good about wanting to learn. Uh, as a matter of fact, with under the right teacher, a senior citizen has way more life experience than the average person does. Therefore, if you have the right teacher and that teacher can relate that life experience to something new such as teaching, then the senior citizen will learn how to use a computer much faster than the average person would learn how to use it. Obviously, you need the right teacher for that. So, Let's go on with the lesson. When I'm obviously I get paid for giving computer lessons and but when I'm not giving computer lessons, I would like to start sharing more basic lesson videos. Uh, in order to support my efforts doing that, I would appreciate your support by downloading and purchasing my Ebook, the big plain English computer, cell phone, and tablets help and tips ebook. You can get it right from this link, and I'll try and put that link in the description. But I appreciate those who have already purchased it, and I definitely appreciate your support in the, my future endeavors of teaching computers as well. Let's get down to our lesson. Today, I taught a senior citizen lady how to maximize, minimize, and drag a window. Okay, so for example, if we're going to maximize a window, we go up here to where the square is, and we click on that square, and that actually normalized the window is what I call it. So because the window was already maximized. That's the nice thing about having virtual buttons is you don't have all these different buttons that will confuse you. You just have one button that you need to use because the other feature is already in place. So let's maximize the window now by clicking on the same square. And what maximize means is that it will expand out the entire uh, window to fill up the screen okay now sometimes you can't do this when uh, you have the window maximized so you might have to actually normalize is what I call it the window but 
in other cases you can do that the minute you go to drag and drop a window now uh, dragging a window means that you bring your mouse cursor up here to the title bar and from there you left mouse click and you hold it down now you can move the window and I've had at least a couple of computer clients who somehow their window ended up like this and they didn't have the slightest idea what to do so I showed them this little trick of left mouse clicking the title bar and then moving the window until you can get to either maximizing the window or X to exit so remember that one too X to exit so let's go ahead and maximize our window again there we go and now you tired of looking at that let's, let's put you over here so now let's go ahead and minimize the window now, some people do this accidentally but you click on this little line right up here and all of a sudden your internet browser has gone oh no what happened so all we do is if we're using Google Chrome then we go to the Google Chrome icon we put our mouse over it there it is right there and you can't just click on it like that that especially if there's two windows like what you see there because then when you go to even if you put your mouse over it and then you go to move the window whoop it's gone again so what you have to do is you actually have to put your mouse over it uh, over the what you call it the smaller thumbnail version and then click on that and then that window will stay in place so left click on that remember right mouse click for an action left mouse uh, I'm sorry I just totally messed that up right mouse click for a menu and left mouse click for an action so since I messed that up I'm gonna repeat it right mouse click for a menu left mouse click for an action okay so that's what we got today we got maximizing and normalizing our window I just did that in reverse order normalizing maximizing remember X to exit minima minimizing the window and then restoring the window by putting your mouse over the thumbnail view and then clicking on it and that's all I need to show you today it's it's just uh, just a short lesson don't want to overwhelm anyone and that's it so uh, remember if you're able support my efforts by uh, purchasing my book the big plain English computer cell phone and tablets help and tip ebook and uh, if you have any suggestions for another lesson, uh, please feel free to let me know. And that's it. So God bless you. Aloha. Enjoy your computer.